I want only dairy and gluten-free options. And the environment needs to be the expensive environment. But I also want, like, really nice gifts. I'm sure. She's registering at Hermes and Versace. <laughs> Wait, I didn't make that up. That's the truth. I don't think I've ever seen a bridezilla as bad as Danielle. She thinks that, you know, since it's her third wedding. And 20th engagement. Yeah, 20th engagement, that she has to go back to, you know, doing this amazing wedding. Danielle is known for her parties. I've known of Danielle for 20 years, peripherally. I mean, she would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on parties, this is nothing new for Danielle. And I should be throwing her this unbelievable bridal shower. And meanwhile, she won't even give me the guest list. She won't give me everybody's email. I mean, I don't know who's coming, Meghan Markle. I mean, it's like the royal wedding. Th this might be the first party that I'm ever very happy not to be invited to. I like the woman. I think just, she's great. She's, so do I, man. I do. I, do. I, do. I, I, really I like, do like her. I but really. I could never marry no, her. Exactly. You know, I yes. definitely would never, could never deal with that shit. Hell no. I was engaged twice before Melissa. You gotta walk a straight line or something. I'm out. Well, you're not gonna get a straight line there. Danielle likes to be wooed over, for lack of a better word. Like, Danielle likes, you know, she likes to make a grand entrance, let's just say. And, I, and I'm making sure that she's made grand entrance. I still pulled out the stops for her. You're such a good friend. You yeah, really are. I None of my friends did that for me. I, yeah, I tried to be a good friend. She was making demands that were unheard of, not to mention her bridal registry. Was, oh, ooh, crazy. Did we even get a thank you note for the wedding no, gifts? No, I don't, I don't think she liked our night. I mean, yeah, I think she was going to return everything for shoes. Yeah, you really? kept saying that. <laughs> Every like, time she's like, oh, please, she's not keeping anything. She's not keeping the spatula. She just wants a new pair of she, Louis Vuitton. She wow, has everything. I actually, that was your respect for Danielle. That's very smart. Yes. Like, she knows that wedding ain't going to last. So. <laughs> And of course, my wife's running out there. Look at her. <gasps> wow. Oh, my God. My prudish eyes. Whoa. Holy shit, that guy's strong. Whoa. I do not remember this. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. If this were me getting married and Joe had ever seen me behaving this way at my bachelorette party. <gasps> I hope she had panties on. Oh, there's the schlong. <gasps> there would be no wedding. I would have never married her. I would have never. Just for that, you want to marry her? Hell I, I no. Know, I know you're old time, but even for that? Old time, that's, you know what that's doing? That's what's going to happen to you in your life. No. Yes. Dude. You put your balls in my face. You know how these girls are it. when they all get together? What? Well, they're wild. And you don't find out about it, neither do I. So what, what are you, you trying to say? What you don't know What do you know you? that I don't know? Don't worry about it. I mean, the stripper thing was pretty exciting for me. I've been <laughs> married for a long time. I took a step back and I was thinking, hmm, I don't know if Marty's going to like this. And I think Danielle was just being a team player. Totally. Listen, she took a couple for the team. I don't think it was, you know, hard for her to do, but, you know, she did it. I definitely was a team player and I, I played nice that night, but I got to be honest with you, like, that guy being on top of me, I didn't enjoy that. I said, what did you do that for? Why did you get on top of me like that? He's like, oh, well, the girl in the pigtails told me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the girl in the pigtails. She really did? Oh. Yeah. Margaret. Margaret. How do you think Melissa and Margaret's husbands would have felt? I tell you, you know what's not fair? Is that if we were doing that? Oh, forget it. It'd be, no. we wouldn't, first of all. You'd be dead. They got, they got us on track and we couldn't even do it. They'll show up to the place. Not yeah, so and you should have just said stop. I did at one point. And uh, I told okay. him, and then he, I made him cry. You know, I have a tendency to do that with people. Listen, I was a stripper, and I, I was much better than that. You were a stripper? Yeah, you didn't know that? For I used guys? to have a G-string with an elephant face on it. <laughs> and I used to fill it up nice. To what, with a banana? With my banana. That's because it looks bigger on you because you're shorter. No, <laughs> right? That's why, man. I gotta be twice as big to look the same size as you. It sucks for you. I know it does. <laughs> now, we get a pretty good shot of this thing called King Cock. Yes, this is the one. Oh my uh, God. Do you think anybody could really Wait. take that in? I, I pray to God it's not realistic. That would, uh, I've given birth to that. Where did that end up? It's, it's actually in my garage. It tells me I'm in far enough in my garage, my car, my Mercedes hits it, and I go, okay, I'm good, we're parked. <laughs> How do you feel about like being with Marty? You know what, just like any other relationship, there's peaks and valleys, right? and when you come together at our age, there's gonna be a lot of peaks and valleys. Do we think that Marty and Danielle were in a good place at the bachelorette party? 
Yes. One day she's madly in love with them, next day she hates his guts. I mean, if we get to the wedding, you know, I'll go through. Did I think it was forever? Absolutely not. But, you know, we're, we were going with it. Right, Melissa? Yeah, we were we were rolling with the homies. I've always had questions from the very beginning. Let's put it that way. All right? So. I had no faith. As soon as I heard there was a Marty around, I'm like, all right, it's done. Yeah, they uh, I didn't think From... it was going to go anywhere. Well, Happy. I can speak like this. I wanted it to work for her. Yeah, but you don't understand. Marty was in over his head from the very beginning. Oh, oh. Uh, come on. I think at this point in time, Danielle started to explain how there was a little rocky grounds at home. And I think where I really noticed that, like, things were not right was in a couple days prior, like, leading up to the wedding. I was like, something's off here. They weren't even sleeping together in the same room. So I was like, if you start off not sleeping together before you got married, trust me, I've been married for 14 years. It, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Marty was, ma Marty was married one time. Okay, uh, you're dealing with somebody, you're dealing with an expert, all right? She's Four and 20. Right, exactly. Really? Tell us what really happened. We really want to know what happened behind the scenes. Behind the scenes? She'd come over to my house every day, every day, every day, complaining about him, screaming about him. He's so horrible to her. We genuinely believed her. And then I got to know Marty. He would come over to my house and he'd be like, like, I, I don't know what to do. You're like, well, are, you, are you sure you want to do this? You know, because he's a, he's a normal guy. You got to ask logical him. at that point? At that point, well, maybe I shouldn't be walking down the aisle. He's but he's, he's a smart guy. But he's he was a great head business. over heels He's a great her. businessman. He was head over heels no, for her. He's, 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 In what she, way? Because she does some magic things. What kind of magic? Uh, bro, I she's got to have something down there. 20 times she's been engaged? I mean, she, I think she's think got extra it. hands down there. Once you go in, it, something grabs you. Boom. What the hell? When Frank got this bar, he told me he didn't tell anyone. I'm not one that's gonna go around, okay, and tell everybody, hey, I got this bar, hey, I got this. I didn't tell anybody. Frank made a promise not to lie to me ever again. And once again, he breached the trust in our relationship. How did we find out? I mean, my husband knows him very well, so my husband told me. I mean, I knew, you know, at the reunion, but I thought nothing of it. I was like, you know, I don't like to even know about people's business. And when Dolores was ready to tell us, that was fine. And he asked me, and I was like, no, Frank's not this part. And then Siggy had texted me and said, somebody wants to do an article about this. I was hearing it more than, you know, too many times. So I called Frank and I go, what's this all about? And he goes, I got this part a week before Thanksgiving, and I didn't know how to tell you, but we're okay. And I was mad because I looked like a jerk. I'm really mad. I'm still mad. Not that you look like a jerk. Listen, he didn't, he, he wasn't ready to tell you. I mean, so, you but know, I would I never want to lie to somebody if yeah, they asked. Who cares? You didn't know. Yeah. No, yeah. It's nobody's business. And everybody could go scratch. Right. Listen, exactly. Teresa. It's nobody's business. When I watched the first episode, Frank and I never knew there was footage of him in the uh, courtroom. He that's, probably didn't want you to worry, is he, what I'm thinking. He didn't, but then no one should have known. And that's that. But he should have manned up and told me. Because I need to know for my kids. And it's a hard thing to that's get freaking disbarred. I feel for him. You know for $5,000. Yeah. Well, and to do a favor for free for a friend. Now. So now people accuse him of stealing money. To be honest with you, I think he got screwed. It was nothing and it was between him and his friend. I Listen, my, Frank's been my attorney. We've been friends and he's been my attorney for many, many years. And we've done a lot of deals together. Out of all the years I've known you, have and you I believe I've known you now 35 years. Have you ever had to worry about me taking a dime? No. Nothing. People Get don't know the whole story. People accuse me, they're like, oh, how could you bankrupt me while I never even went through a bankruptcy? Yeah. Thank you very much, you know. And, you know, go on vacation, really. People should keep their mouth shut. Capiche? Capiche, yes. <laughs>